What's up guys, welcome to the new course called Dream AI. In this course, we are going to build a fresh new React Native app called Dream AI. So basically a generative AI project where you enter the prompt and it will generate an image. So we are using a Together AI uh, platform and the Flux model. Alright, and here you can see that how the UI is looking great. Right guys, this is looking awesome. So after that, like here you can see a normal uh, title like Dream AI made by Zero Degree Coder, and here you can enter your prompt like whatever the prompt, whatever the image you want to generate, you can have enter that prompt and that will generate the image. And after that, you have to click on generate. All right. And after that, we are having uh, this uh, discover tab. Once you click on discover tab, there you can see uh, like we are making API call, and there we get the data. Okay. Now you can see that a man in the sky diving into cotton realistic. And tons of data we are having a like download functionality share image and copy url functionality and the like functionality as well okay here you can see that this all the images are generated by you like you know whatever the user will generate that will get into the discover discover section so maybe like if I, any user generate that went to the discover uh, section after that you can see a like screen so here you can see the like image which the image which i had liked now if I unlike this image, so it will get removed from this like section and again if I unlike this image and it will again get removed and you can see that you have not liked any image yet. Okay. Now after that let's go to the home and let's generate an image. Okay. And I'm going to write a uh, called one image, uh, a guy doing coding in the sky. Okay. And realistic and cartooning kind of okay so now you know a guy doing coding in the sky let's click on generate so whenever we click whenever we click on generate so first of all what i'm going doing do, what am i doing that guys i'm showing an interest real ad this is the ad which i'm doing and showing and after that uh, it will make api call and generate our image okay now you can see that uh, image is visible all right so a lot of people ask me sir we want to learn like how to integrate a react native ads like how to add ad add move in your react native ads so that's why i was thinking let's add this add move as well now here you can see that a guy doing coding in the sky and this is looking crazy right and if i click on like icon it went to the like like the image get liked and if i check my like section you can see that the image is visible there along with the prompt okay now let's go back to the home and if i click on copy so it copy the url and after that here you can see a share icon and the download so if i click on download icon it will download the image okay you can see that uh, one dialog come up downloading image zero percent and once the image get downloaded the notification will be uh, you know it, the notification sound will ring okay now after that once it get downloaded now let's check our google photos that it's really downloaded or not okay now you can hear that a notification sound let's go to the home and let's check our google photos that this image has been downloaded or not because uh, there's a lot of has been security changes and that's why like people were facing that the image was not downloaded so you can see that uh, this image has been downloaded crazy okay and we had also implemented the share functionality you can see that downloaded image okay now let's go back to the app and let's go here now once you click on share you are able to save the image as well okay now this is all the things we are going to build from scratch okay so we are going to use react native cli uh, you can use any tools that's totally up to you like if you want to use react native expo you can use that that works as well so mostly what we are going to learn in this session so we're going to learn that how to make uh, you know a react native apps with the download functionality api calling we're going to also use react native fetch query okay axios api calling all right we're also gonna use use context hooks we're gonna learn that how to make how to use async storage as well share functionality download functionality copy functionality and also generating the image okay we are going to build this from scratch this is you guys if you complete this course i'm pretty sure like you will be an intermediate developer okay now let's talk about the server so we also gonna build this server with the help of node.js express.js and we are going to use together api okay so we are also gonna build the app and deploy that backend server on the virtual uh, if you talk about the database you know for the discovery section you can see that 
we are making API call and that data is bringing the data. So we are going to use a MongoDB database for this as well because we have to store the generated image data somewhere for the discovery section. Okay, and after that, uh, what else we gonna do? Like this is a, like really a crazy project. Like you can see that a lot of images. Like we had also implemented the pagination. So whenever you scroll the bottom, so you can see that we are making API call and bringing the data. So you also gonna learn that how to make a pagination in React Native, also in the Node.js. Okay, now after this, what else we are going to learn that we're going to learn that like custom bottom tab navigation, how to make bottom tab navigation, how to make, uh, how to use custom font family, how to use react native vectors icons, you know, a lot of topics that you know. So in the next session, what we are going to do, we are going to set up our project and we are going to start building this project. So if you guys have coming any questions, uh, this is going to be really a full stack development and also. And the last of the session, we're gonna deploy this app on the Play Store, and we'll say to you guys and let me know like how it's feeling to you. And this is gonna be a really crazy. And in the last of the session, maybe we also implement the sign-in sign-up functionality and the token functionality, and also the payment functionality. Slowly, slowly. All right. But yeah, that's uh, right now. This is all the functionality which we are going to build in this course. Okay. So let me get started and let me know, guys, how you excited for this project. Thank you. Bye.